Okay, so you just got this computer. It's running great, you're happy with it. Dark light PC build, check links below for the complete build. But then you realize it doesn't have wireless internet. So you got a few options. You can go to the back over here, and you can probably get it, there we go. And you can probably get a long LAN cable, such as this, 100 feet long, and run it all the way to your router or your access point, which, I mean, do you really want these wires running all over your house? <laughs> or you can look for a Wi-Fi USB adapter. So if you have an old desktop computer or an old laptop, which that's not an old laptop, you could get one of these Wi-Fi USB adapters and they will actually help upgrade your internet, probably even improve your speeds. So the problem I'm running with this computer is that a lot of times I have to do the work in the garage, updates and everything, just because I've got a lot of family life going on in the house. So what I decided to do is to get a Wi-Fi USB card so I can run the internet. Now, I can run the cables into the garage and all that stuff, but I don't feel like doing that. So I decided to go with this. I got this on Amazon. It was on their Prime Day special sale. Uh, if I could pull that over here. Guarantee USB 3.0, yada, 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 all that jargon. Well, it's a USB adapter. It'll hook up to my Wi-Fi signal, and I'll have wireless internet for this computer. And I could be able to upgrade an old laptop, which we'll talk about that in a second. So now it supports 5.8 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz. Just to give you a breakdown on that, 5.8 is faster, but the distance and the signal strength is low. 2.4 is a little slower, but you have a greater signal strength. So 5.8 faster, low signal strength, 2.4, slower, better signal strength, just to sum up in a, nat in a nutshell. So we will go ahead and unbox this. I think I paid $10 for this, but hey, can't beat it and I'm cheap. So let's see what it comes with. All right, comes with this itty bitty CD, cool, the dongle, and the antenna. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in together and then we're gonna install it. And then we're gonna so, see how it works. Got her set up, very simple, cute little thing. Guarantee, that's the brand name of it. It's supposed to be the 1200 megabytes per second, wireless, dual band, 802.11, AC, USB 3.0, all that good stuff. So. What I like about it is look at everything it supports. XP, 7, 8, 8.1, 10, Mac, Linux, Android, all that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the computer. Now, you do not have to plug it in the front. It doesn't matter where you plug it into. I'm just plugging it in there for demonstrational purposes and it's easier. So it's already plugged in. And let's see, let's go over here. Oh, sweet, so it's already plugged in and it installed automatically. So that's good. So anybody running Windows 10, I guess has the built-in drivers. Sweet. Very cool. All right, so it's working. That was a quick install. So let's go ahead to Time Warner, speed test. Test the right, speed so with on the this. speed test, press go. See how well this does. Actually, it works quite well. I have 300 megabytes that I paid for Time Warner, so 235. It's not bad. So and then my uploads. So quick, cool. So quick and easy. Popped it in. I didn't need to use the drivers or CD or anything. It installed, connected to my internet, and done. So anybody who needs to add internet for this, I mean, this was $10. I think it's normally $20 outside of the Amazon Prime Day. I'll put the model over here so you can see it. Guarantee USB 3.0. Now it says USB 3.0. I'm running on a USB 2.0 and it is still working fine. So no issues. Uh, CD is good to have, I guess, if you have older operating systems or for the Linux or Mac, whatever. So if you have a Mac computer that you're using, this will work great. It should install, no issues. I mean, I'm not a Mac guy. I don't know much about it. All right, so, so laptop. So let's say you have a laptop that's like five, six years old. 
doesn't have the new wireless standards, it either runs real slow when you browse on the internet, not giving you full speeds of your router or your internet access, whatever the case may be, or just the Wi-Fi adapter went bad. So you got two couple of options. Number one, just deal with the slow speed. Number two, pay to get it repaired by some professional repairman. Number three, watch a bunch of YouTube videos, try to fix it yourself, or what I would probably do, Wi-Fi adapter, plug that out. Let's plug this back in. Well, let's plug it in, not back in. There we go, it is in. All right, I already disabled my wireless card, so we should be good there. Picked it up, no, e no issue. Change it to Wi-Fi 2. Let's load it up, there we go, connect. Connected secure. So now, for ten dollars, I just upgraded an old laptop Wi-Fi to today's modern standard with security, improved the speed, or better yet, if my laptop's Wi-Fi was dead, now it works. So, just a quick little tip: anybody that's having any issues with their wireless connection, wireless internet, it's a quick, easy option. Works good. So now I got Wi-Fi in my garage, and if my laptop's Wi-Fi was bad. I'd be able to restore it and not have to get rid of my laptop or just pay to find the adapter or have somebody do it or even take it apart to a million pieces. So, um, quick tip, just suggestions for anybody who experienced some Wi-Fi issues or just wanted to upgrade the Wi-Fi on their older computer or just put Wi-Fi in their computer. So, guarantee USB 3.0, not a sponsor. I paid for this myself, but just wanted to share this and do a just quick product review to show that, hey, cheap, easy, that's what it's all about. So, thanks for watching. Dark Light PC build, links below, watch the build. Um, subscribe if you like what you see.